What's up, y'all? Cecil West, Beyond the Harmony, beyondtheharmony.com. Back at you once again with the one and only Joe Nathan Lightby. And this is QOTD here on Beyond the Harmony, the question of the day, where we ask you a bone question and you drop it in the comments below. And me and John sit here and argue for anywhere from three to 20 minutes about this. Today, John. This one's cool. You know I like to make you pick this or that, that or this, this one or that one. Who's your favorite kid? Well, today I got to know, is it Down 71 or Land of the Heartless? If you come a little bit closer, I could turn you into sand. It's bottom of it now. Going with Land of the Heartless because you know that's my jam right there. Land of the Heartless, one of my top three from Eternal. I know what yours is, but I'm going with Land of the Heartless. Three, my it's my favorite trio, Crazy, Lazy, Busy. I wish those three would make an album together, an entire album. That's I always felt when just the three of them got together, it was the best songs. So Crazy, Lazy, Busy, Land of the Heartless, Execution Double Nine style. That's my pick. And I don't even have a reason why. It's just so dope. That's why. so dope. I love the beat. It is. I love the beat. I love Crazy Bone the way he comes in. I even love Busy and Lazy's part. It's just, it's just a dope track. This hands that it, it's a song that you're just like, hey, it's a really good song. Land of the Heartless. Yeah. Was this a you question or did a fan come up with this? Who came up with this one? I, I saw that one recently when we did the uh, No Surrender versus Still No Surrender. Somebody yeah. put that one in the yeah. No, that wouldn't be. I wouldn't even compare the two. Like it's not something I would. I like I would compare Down Seventy One to something else and Land of the Heartless to something else, but not to each other. Like I don't see how they interconnect. Like I feel like Down Seventy One is the sequel to Creeping on a Come Up, the song. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I yeah, I don't I don't know what made somebody compare this. It's it's a it's a. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird comparison, but it makes it hard too, because you I gotta pick one or the other, and I love both uh for different reasons. Uh everything that you said, like <laughs> you almost swayed me, motherfucker. You almost swayed me. If this was a boxing match, you, you did pretty good in your round one and, and you had me wobbly because it, I'm I'm thinking of that. Uh you know. It, it, it's good man it's uh it's good it's the trio i also love that trio the um the beat is good the hook is good uh but you know it, it shouldn't surprise anybody here if, if i got to pick one of these songs it's it's down 71 uh i i really man the 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 story in down 71 the the corny uh sound effects um it's just it's just hard as fuck it's just hard as fuck. I was so surprised when they never did a video. Shout out to uh, BTNH fan vids who who finally, you know, after 20 something years, uh, gave us some sort of video relief. And uh, it, it's it's just so good. I, I love I love the story in that. And in the intro, the intro gets me hype. Um, that I just got to go down 71. But it, it's such a tough comparison because Land of the Heartless, that beat, that beat is good. Uh, you know, hey, this is tough. If we had man. t-shirts though. The, fan, the fans put me in a tough place, bro. This is a tough fucking. This is tough. I, 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 I could, I could choose for you, bro. If you had a shirt, it would say Down Seventy One on it, and if I had a shirt, it would say Land of the Heartless. Like Down Seventy One, that's your shit. That. You gotta stick with your dogs, bro. You, you've repped down 71 for a whole year on this show. You've repped it even before the show. That's your dogs, bro. Oh, yeah. Down 71. Oh, I, all, all day. I'm I'm just saying, like, I, I'm only picking it because I love the song so much. Not because like I have a single, I have nothing, I have nothing that I can say against Land of the Heartless for why I'm picking down 71, except I just love down 71. That's it. They're both good songs. These are these are top tier top shelf these are fucking 200 dollar a bottle songs do you feel that krypton we came uh is part of down 71 like i feel like i couldn't just listen to down 71 without listening to krypton we came like i feel like 
like it's it's a two for kind of song I, do, do they match together do they go together for you it's like peanut butter and jelly for me like you gotta have one with the other yeah the, um those songs like it's that's kind of how i feel about the art of war the way you feel about what you're describing there they they do go together um they they flow in to get into each other a little bit um so yeah th those are kind of like the the two for one uh what what you're describing is really how i feel about like pretty much the whole art of war uh that that they all are are connected but yeah no i, I see what you're saying there for sure yeah and actually even through eternal at the beginning like the way i would do it like if i was gonna commit to listen to any of those tracks i'd be like all right we're gonna start with eternal we're gonna hear crept and we can we're gonna hear down 71 and we're gonna hear bill collector just bill collector is like a dessert because getting through crept and we came in down 71 it's like it's like a heavy heavy duty meal with tons of spices like your mouth is kind of your tongue is burning you're almost like some tears are coming out not because you're sad but because you tasted some real spicy stuff and then mr bill collector is like this real nice mousse chocolate mousse um to really soothe your tongue and give you a nice aftertaste and then you can just turn it off at that point because if you keep going, then you're getting into Bud Smokers only, and you're going to have a whole other commitment to listen to the rest of the album. But those three, Eternal Crypt and We Came, Down 71, that's a trilogy right there in my mind. So that's how I do it. Also got a question for you uh, mm -hmm. regarding the beginning of this video here that we started. You said this or that. And did you ever get Black Sheep's uh, The Choice Is Yours, This or That, in your mind mentally tangled with the diggable planets? I'm cool like that. I'm cool like that cool like that this those are that. similar cool like that yeah this or that has anybody ever blended those together i don't know if anybody's blended that but and and i've never thought about what you just said but i do think that that's that that like even though i know they're two different songs you know what i mean i do think i've done exactly what you just said and i also have another one for you it's regarding diggable planets did you ever were you ever a fan of the song ninth wonder slicker this year i'm slicker this year i'm slicker this year Myrtle Ave, twelve joint, got the pick in my hair. Do you know the song I'm talking about? Nah, I think you're. I think you're showing your age on this one. Oh man, Ladybug Mecca, man. She I, like I, I, last week. I just went through like just having an old crush on Ladybug Mecca, watching all of her stuff. I didn't even realize she had solo albums afterwards. So I'm just throwing that one out there for any old school Diggable Planet fans. They did have a reunion. They did perform a concert. I love Diggable Planets. Dun, 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 dun. They were smooth, bro. I wasn't ready for it at the time. The jazz, the, the smooth stuff. I always wish Diggable and Bone did a track together because that would have been something else. But that is way off topic. We're talking down 71. We're talking Land of the Heartless. I threw us on a whole different sphere there. So Cecil, take us home. Get us out of here somehow. <laughs> uh, Matt can sawed off eruptions. Got plenty of ammunition. No missing. Listen, destruction. I'm bucking. Cause I gotta make that get away. About to get away. My shit. All the <laughs> that's what the sound effects sound like. Bro, I love it. I love that track so much. I hope after you guys listen to this that you listen to all these songs that we've been talking about, especially listen to Down 71. Nah, I got a question. man. <laughs> One question, bro. The down seventy one and and that part when Lazy's doing that part when all the ammunition saw off. It oh. Now the part on. Did you ever hear the No Limit So? Uh, you know how they always had a No Limit Soldier song. I don't remember what version, which which variant of No Limit Soldiers it was, but Silk the Shocker had a verse where they were like launching like bombs and and missiles and shit. Do you know the song I'm talking about? No. It was with like Silk, Mystical, Master P. It was I think it was at the beginning of the Sea Murder album. And uh, he, they had uh, like they, they, I mean, they must have heard down seventy one, and we're like, yo, we gotta do that shit, but we gotta just like take it to the no limit level, and uh, and Silk is just like screaming, and there's all kinds of sound effects, and it's like, <laughs> I always wanted to put both of those tracks back to back to just have absolute pandemonium go off in my mind. Did, but did did you ever? Cause cause this might have been as you were phasing out of of hip hop. Did did you ever hear "Go to Sleep" by Eminem and and DMX and Obi Trice? DMX and Eminem made a song together. Oh my <laughs> god, bro! At the end of this, they're they're shitting all over Ja Rule and shit. And at the end of it, Eminem goes on like a minute and a half tirade of fucking 
sound effect weapons that is like down 71 to the next level like he's actually shooting all these different guns and it's just eminem like screaming and shit you you gotta listen to that bro it it, i love that track as well i love down 71 i love all all these corny fucking guns (laughs) yeah bro that was based on that i think rob put a bunch of sound effects in three bucks to your rib repeat it repeat it Bro, I can't. I, 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 have you really never heard "Go to Sleep" with Eminem no, and DMX? Never heard it. Bro, never heard it. Pete, what what Pete, album was it Pete, from? Pete, it's not. It's from a, a soundtrack. It was from uh, one of the DMX movies. And, oh uh, no shit! I I just sent you a link. Peep peep that shit out. O, Ob Trice is is whatever. Ob Trice is just Ob Trice. It's not bad, but it's not like you're not gonna walk away like blown away. But Eminem, first of all. Eminem has such a good verse because you got to remember it's like it's 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 at the height of like the fucking beefing with with Murder Inc. and them, you know. Uh, why the so fuck were like they a... beefing for? Like I never even understood that. I was like, why the fuck does Eminem got beef with Ja Rule? That's like the stupidest fucking beef Could, that makes no well sense. That, well, that the Eminem because that was just Eminem being down for fifty, bro. I love it. It, it really had nothing to do with Eminem. It oh, had to do with right. Fifty and Ja Rule, and it was like over some real gang street shit. Uh, like drug shit and all that um and then he signed him so like you know eminem was basically like they got a beef we all we all got a beef that's so funny that 50 and like i don't even associate 50 cent and eminem in my mind like i know 50 cent is why eminem's retired now because he got all that money from him but like 50 being down with eminem it, it doesn't even like fat like it, i don't even believe it they don't, it's don't one of my fa- it's like one of my favorite have- times in hip hop. In fact, like Eminem was like an honorary G Unit member and loved it. Like <laughs> like Eminem liked like liked being almost like not the man. Like I think he like looked up the Fifty, even though Fifty was like set up by Eminem and shit. Like like you know Fifty Cent like owes his life to Eminem the way M owes Dre. Like I think M looked up the Fifty. He loved being in G Unit. That was a great time. The beat the beefing with with uh benzino and ja rule and all those guys at that time was like the pinnacle of aftermath and shady they they haven't been that good since that that's the best that they've ever been all all i remember from all that beef was melissa telling me like yeah you know these guys shoot up the whole fucking office right they don't have to clean it up but i do so now i have to spend the whole day (laughs) figuring out you know who the fuck do i get to replace windows like it it never even occurred to me that i I would ever have to do something like this but that's what i have to do today i have to find a window company because the landlord doesn't give a shit they're not going to get it done in time and if we want to keep air conditioning in this building and we want to keep people from breaking in we got to have windows (laughs) and uh and these assholes just shoot up a place like it's nothing (laughs) <laughs> like that that was like the other side like the the other side of hip hop is like hey, yeah. you just shot the fucking place up and it's like yeah and people got to clean it up yeah that's beyond the shady right there beyond the unit <laughs> yeah no that yeah. You listen i'm telling you it's 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 four it's four and a half minutes and if you hate the whole song it's all worth it when you get to this intro and you get to just hear Eminem lose his fucking mind with all these gun sound effects uh this was a a very different but fun question the question is down 71 or land of the heartless john went with the khakis and the high techs i went with the crazy sound effects john's the land of the heartless i'm down 71 now it's your time to pick make sure you drop it in the comments below and let us know don't forget share this with another bone fan that way we can find out what they think don't forget Hit the subscribe button, motherfucker, if you haven't hit it yet. Hey, and we're going to catch you on the next one.